saw you guys make such a big deal about going into outer space. I live there, so it's no big thing to me. But I wanted to see how humans do it. I headed over to NASA to get me an astronaut. Found a guy named Robert Kirby. Check him out. Continue. Three, two, one. Oh, my name is Robert Kirby. I'm a commander in the United States Navy, and I'm an astronaut. We have a go for man to start. I've been to space twice. I was on two missions. The first one was mission STS-85 on board the space shuttle Discovery, and my second mission was STS-98 on board the space shuttle Atlantis. At liftoff of space shuttle Atlantis, I decided I want to become an astronaut after taking a field trip at Johnson Space Center, and I met a woman named Kathy Thornton who was an astronaut. After talking to her, I decided that I wanted to do the same job that she did. The astronaut candidate training took about a year. The training is actually like going to Disneyland, only getting paid to do it. Uh, we do a lot of simulators. We learn how uh, to handle different types of emergencies. We learn how to do spacewalks. Uh, we learn how to do all of our experiments that uh, are scheduled to do on that mission. We would really like it if you could get a good shot of the port ecom antenna. During our training, we go to the neutral buoyancy lab, and uh, the neutral buoyancy lab is really just a big swimming pool. And we actually practice our spacewalks there on full-scale mock-ups of the two space vehicles. The training's pretty cool and. And it's fitting because doing spacewalks is pretty cool. <laughs> oh, man. I love doing spacewalks. Okay, guys. I think it's a great day to go and do spacewalks. Being in space is just the greatest thing in the world. The view is incredible. The Earth is beautiful. It's faster than uh, any car or any ride you've ever had in your life. Weightlessness is kind of a weird feeling, but uh, the best way I could describe it is probably being underwater in a pool where you don't have to hold your breath and your vision isn't very blurry. It's a um, totally peaceful feeling. The vehicle we're in front of is called the crawler. We use it to take a mobile launch platform and a space shuttle out to the launch pad. And the whole stack weighs about 15 million pounds when it's all said and done. I've been on uh, the Space Shuttle Discovery and the Space Shuttle Atlantis, and Discovery is definitely my favorite. I have a, I have a soft spot in my heart for Discovery just because it was my first time. And, uh, the ride is a lot smoother than going to orbit on board Discovery. It's just the rock solid. It, it flies like a tense muscle. Space food really isn't very different from the food that you have every day, but the packaging is a little bit different. Peach yogurt. Here's a grilled pork chop. I eat a lot of shrimp cocktail on orbit. But this is probably my favorite, and that's chocolate. Becoming an astronaut isn't much different from getting any other government job. You apply uh, via the standard form 171 and uh, hopefully they pick your name from a list of probably 3,000 to interview and if you're lucky enough they pick you to ride in the space shuttle. Copy that flight thing. My favorite astronaut is probably Neil Armstrong, and just because he was part of the team that did something that's truly great, and it took a lot of bravery to do what he and his team did. If I had to give any advice to the kids that were watching this show right now, I would just say try to be the best at whatever you do, and do something that you really enjoy. Uh, life is too short to not to really enjoy what you're doing every day, so I would definitely go and seek out something that allowed me to have a lot of fun while I was working. I did that. And Hopefully you'll get to do the same. Roger that. We're watching.